This is the 2021 Math Kangaroo Level 7-8, problem number 28. In a town, there are 21 knights who always tell the truth and 2,000 knaves who always lie. A wizard divided 2020 of these 2021 people into 1,010 pairs. Every person in a pair described the other person as either a knight or a knave. As a result, 2,000 people were called knights and 20 people were called knaves. How many pairs of two names were there? A, 980, B, 985, C, 990, D, 995, or E, 1000. This is the problem as it originally appeared on the test, and here is where we'll be doing the solution. To start, I've defined three variables. Let A equal the number of pairs of knights. Let B equal the number of pairs of, made up of one knave and one knight. And let C equal the number of pairs of knaves. So those are the three different types of pairs we could have. We're going to try to relate all these three variables together and ultimately figure out what C is equal to because we're trying to find how many pairs of two knaves are there. So the first piece of information we're going to use is that there's a total of 1,010 pairs. So that means that A plus B plus C must be equal to 1,010, because that's the total number of pairs. Let's take a closer look at each of the three variables, however. So again, we had the pairs, and then every person in a pair described the other person as either a knight or a knave. So for example, for each pair A, the knights always tell the truth. Right? So when each knight in that pair looks at the other person in their pair, they're going to say the truth and they're going to say that they saw a knight. So if each knight does that, we're going to have the result that two, knight, two people are called knights. That's the result of that pair. Okay. For B, we have one knave and one knight. Keep in mind that we are told that knaves always lie. So when the knave looks at the person in their pair and they see a knight, they're going to lie and say that they saw a knave. However, the knight tells the truth. So the knight's going to look at the other person in their pair who is a knave and tell the truth and say that they saw a knave. So we're going to have the result that two people are called knaves from this group. From this pair. And then for C, again, knaves lie, so each knave in this two knave pair will look at the other knave, see a knave, but lie and say that they saw a knight. So we're gonna have two knights as those who are seen. They're gonna say that each person's gonna say that they saw a knight. And this is important because we're told that a total of 20 people were called knaves. Well, there's only one type of pair that will give us that result. So for each pair B, we get the result of two knaves. So this tells us that the number of pairs B must be equal to 10, because again, each of those pairs will have the result of two knaves, and in total, we had 20 people called knaves. So basically, we have that 2 times the number of pairs B is equal to 20. And that, again, will result that if we divide both sides by 2, we'll get that B is equal to 10. And this is important because it tells us that the one unpaired person must be a knight. Because keep in mind, we had a total of 2,021 people. But if we know that there's 10 pairs of type B, that means that the leftover person must be a knight because we would have 21 knights, 10 of whom are type B, and then 11 is not divisible by 2. So that one leftover person must be a knight for the remaining 10 people to be in pairs of type A. That's exactly what we're going to show. So 21 is the total number of knights. And that's equal to that one leftover person who's unpaired 
plus B, because again, each pair B only has one knight, plus 2A, because each type, each pair of type A is going to have two knights. And we know what B is, so we can substitute 10 for B, and we get 1 plus 10 plus 2A is equal to 21. And then we combine to get 11 plus 2A is equal to 21. Subtract 11 from both sides, get that 2A is equal to 10, and finally A is equal to 5. There's five pairs of knights. And now we can figure out what C is, because again, over here, we already established that A plus B plus C is equal to 1,010. So we can substitute 5 for A, 10 for B, and then we have 5 plus 10 plus C is equal to 1,010. Combine to get C plus 15 is equal to 1,010. Subtract 15 to get that C is equal to 995. And that is answer choice D. Thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe if you would like to see more videos.